Hi, I'm Matt Stankiewicz, Senior Software Engineer on the Microsoft Teams platform. I'm excited to share with you a new tool set that my team put together called App Studio for Microsoft Teams. The App Studio helps ease some of the pain points associated with integrating your services into Microsoft Teams. In the next few minutes, I'll go over the features of the App Studio and how you can fit them into your Teams app development flow. The four things that the App Studio can help you with today are creating, managing, and storing your app manifests, designing and previewing bot cards in Teams, integrating Teams-styled components into your tabs, and searching for documentation and blog posts. So let's dive right in. So before we can use these features, we need to install the App Studio. The App Studio is itself a Teams app, which means that we must install it from the App Store in the Teams client. We can do this by clicking the Store button in the lower left and typing App Studio into the search bar, like this. It should be the only result that shows up, and clicking on it will launch the installation flow. Uh, this app is a person-only app, so you can only add it for yourself. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And after it is installed, uh, either of these buttons will take you into the app. And then after you actually show up here, uh, the app will be present in your flyout on the left. The first thing we're going to look at is the Manifest Editor tab. The Manifest Editor enables you to create, manage, and store your app manifests in one place. It can also help you discover the different integration points available for you in Microsoft Teams and how to utilize them. Uh, just starting from the screen, we are presented with two options, create a new app and import an existing one. For brevity of this demo, I'm going to import an app I already have on my computer. It happens to be the Contoso HR app. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and click into this app and explore its capabilities. First screen that we're presented with is the app detail screen. Uh, this is basically the metadata for your application. It's required for publishing your application to the store. It's required for showing your application in the team store. And it's required for siloing your application as well for testing. As you can see, the Contoso HR app is pretty capability rich. It's got tabs, it's got a bot, it's got a connector, and it has a messaging extension. And as we go down through these forms on the left, we can see the different fields here. Uh, details is the first section. Uh, app details is where we're at right now. Valid domains is a larger topic that we can go over in another demo. The second section called capabilities outlines all the integration points that Teams has uh, available for you as a developer. Uh, we're going to go right through them. The first one is tabs. Tabs are how you can present a rich web interface to your users. Personal tabs show up in the personal scope and cannot be configured. And Teams tabs show up in a team scope, and they can be configured to show data specific to that team. The next section is bots. Uh, an app can only have one bot at the moment. Bots are the primary way to reach your users through chat in either the personal scope or the team scope. The next section is connectors. Your, bot, your app can only have one connector as well. Uh, connectors are similar to uh, webhooks and let you post notifications into Teams channels. And the last capability here is messaging extensions. Messaging extensions allow your users to easily share your content from the Compose box in chats. So for this demo, let's go ahead and add a new personal tab to the application. I'm going to do that from the tabs capability. And you can see the personal tabs are here right now. The first one is my job postings. This is existing. So we're going to add a new one, a second one. The second one will be for candidates. So we have candidates coming into the HR app, and we're going to go ahead and create a new personal tab. We're going to name it candidates. We're going to give it a unique ID of candidates tab. And then we have these content URLs that we're going to post in here. Uh, once we're done with that, we can save this. And it shows up as a second entry here under Personal Tabs. Uh, and then the cool part here is you can go ahead and export this application into an application zip package and sideload it into Teams. So once you see this little dialog, the app has been saved into your Downloads folder. 
So I'm going to go ahead and sideload this app into my Teams instance. And you can see now I have a Contoso HR 1 zip. This is the new name of the updated zip. So clicking on that will present me a login or sign installation flow. Uh, we don't really want to test the team scope. We just want to install it for ourselves to see the static tab show up. Hitting install takes us to this screen. So let's go check it out. And you can see up here are our new uh, tabs up here. So my job postings was already there, and we ended up adding the candidates tab right here. OK, let's switch gears into the next tab in Teams App Studio. The next tab is the card editor tab. The card editor lets you design and preview different cards that your bot can send in a conversation. You can use this tab to build mocks during the design phase and to grab code that generates the card during the development phase. Let's uh, jump right in and build a card. So your first options are in this form or JSON. You can either type in the JSON directly or you can use the form. They both update each other, so it works very nicely that way. You can copy the JSON to post this payload uh, when you're actually developing. We support two card types, hero and thumbnail card. So I'm going to go ahead and send this beautiful Microsoft Build Is Here card to myself for previewing. So clicking the Send button will most likely ask you to log in on the first time. Uh, so it changes into sign in button. This usually is silent. Uh, sometimes it asks you to log in. Mine was actually silent that time. And then this changes back to send me this card button. So I'm going to go ahead and send this card to myself for preview. The way that this works is we have a bot built into our app, and the bot will actually send you the card in a conversation for you to preview. So jumping into the conversation tab, you can see the card was sent right here. Microsoft build is here. Uh, this is our subtitle, the image that we posted, and some neat buttons. The card editor currently supports hero and thumbnail cards. We are planning on adding more card types shortly. All right, let's move on to the control library tab. The control library is a set of JavaScript packages that can help you integrate your tabs with the team's look and feel. It consists of two stacks, the icon stack and the component stack. Both stacks have a framework-less core package and a React binding package that consumes it. Clicking any of these four links here will give you more detail about the packages themselves. Uh, the entire App Studio app is built uh, using these packages. So they do get some production level usage. However, they are still in preview mode and may contain bugs and usability issues. The control library tab itself is a showcase of the components available. And you can take a look at how it is built by clicking this link down here. And of course, you can peruse through all the components that we have, buttons, drop downs, check boxes, radio buttons, toggles, just the basic necessities of building a, a UI inside of Teams. If you still have questions while developing your app, we also have in-chat search. And you can access that from the conversation tab. So you can ask the bot to pull up relevant documentation and blog posts by talking to it and using the search command. For example, if you're interested in building a static tab, you can type search, search for static tab and hit Enter. And the bot will quickly respond with a list card full of these results. And you can see they're, they're fairly relevant. The third one is create a static tab. Uh, and that will take you to our documentation about how to create one of these. So to recap this presentation, we went over how the App Studio can help you build great Teams integrations by creating, managing, and storing your app manifests, designing and previewing bot cards and teams, integrating team-styled components into your tabs, and searching for documentation and blog posts. We value your feedback and would love to incorporate your great ideas on how to make the App Studio even more useful. If you have any questions, concerns, or feature requests, you can submit them using the Teams feedback tool or by emailing us at microsoftteamsdev at microsoft.com. Thank you for watching this presentation.